Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gersh One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about the demons of chaos as we get into the Sky Shark, or the Screamers of Zinch. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content every single day, and if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the Screamers. Screamers of Zinch sometimes referred to as sky sharks or just simply as a screamer, are demonic beasts who resemble the mythical rays that once inhabited the oceans of ancient Terra. They fly through the sky, emitting a piercing high-frequency whine that gives these creatures their name. These majestic beasts ride upon the winds of magic as a bird glides upon the breeze. They have no real conscious thoughts and are instead driven by a powerful hunting instinct. In the realm of chaos, screamers roam the tides of magic, preying upon the shadowed souls of mortal creatures, lone chaos furies, and other unfortunate magical entities. Once a pack of screamers has the scent of a mortal soul, they pursue it ruthlessly through the many imperial planes that encompass the realm of chaos. Once the screamers catch their doomed prey, it is torn to pieces in an eye blink, the shreds of its soul stuff offered up as gifts to Zinch. Screamers are very agile due to their ability to fly, and possess a feral but cunning intellect. Though they are able to use magic-based attacks, their greatest weapons are their so-called warp jaws, which allow them to chew through all kinds of solid matter, even the armored hide of a void ship. In a direct confrontation, there are few that can withstand their jaws or outrun their wings. Large packs of screamers can often be found outside the realm of Zinch, they hunt after starships that traverse the warp. Like all demons, the only real burden they have to face is trying to assault man-made vehicles native to real space that have geller fields, which they systematically probe for weak spots. But even then, there is no safety, for screamers have been known to burrow through the geller fields of voidcraft they find adrift, peeling open the hull and allowing chaos energies to flood the ship. As those inside flounder and choke, their own mutating anatomies, squeezing them of their life. The screamers pour in to devour the crew in their last terrifying moments of existence. When manifesting in real space, screamers hunt with a cunning that belies their rather base intellect. Streaking across the sky, leaving the sparkling multicolored trails behind them, screamers generally keep to a lofty altitude. From this vantage point, they search the ground below for worthy sacrifices to their master. Once they have located suitable prey, the screamers dive down, emitting unnatural arcs of warp lightning. Anything left standing after their initial slashing attack is snatched up in the screamer's jaw to be either devoured on the wing or dropped from great heights to smash into the ground far below. As they possess only a base intellect, screamers are often used as scouts and skirmishers by more powerful demons or ambitious sorcerers. However, if control ever lapses, the screamers return to their more instinctive behavior and are likely to turn on their former masters. Shoals of screamers are drawn to battles in real space where panic and confusion hang thick in the air. The sorcerers of the Thousand Suns Legion expedite the demon's arrival with rituals that open direct portals to the screamer's usual feeding ground. From these, the abominations swoop into reality ignoring the laws of gravity and the effects of atmospheric conditions that could hamper other flying creatures. As the screamers fly across the battlefield, their lashing tails whip down to impale those below with brutal barbs. Those not bisected or disemboweled outright are weakened physically and spiritually and are marked by the screamers as a later meal. From time to time, Zinj will award one of his champions with a screamer to use as a mount to carry him into battle. The changer of way must first remake the demon into a steed known as a disc of Zinch. Zinch reshapes the screamer into a disc using a series of potent rituals and sorcerer ceremonies, finally binding the demon with bands and chains of warp forged gold and silver. The great shaper sometimes chooses to cover the disc with eyes, equipped it with magical blades of living metal, or to add tentacles, feathers, scales, and bony plates. Through this reshaping process, the wild hunter becomes bound to its rider's will. The champion, so mounted, gains the screamer's speed and ability to fly, and can take advantage of the disc's psychically attuned senses, its lightning attacks, 
and its psychological edge of unnerving screams. Deep in the warp, the screamers of Zinch will always be found accompanying the guardian of the maze. Within the convoluted labyrinth of Zinch, it is said there is one true path to infinite knowledge that any creature, mortal or demonic, can follow. This road leads through nine gates, each barred against entry. The gates appear as golden arches, thrice the height of a man, wreathed in purple, blue, and pink fire. At each gate stands the guardian of the maze, accompanied by thousands of screamers of Zinch. The nature of the guardian is such that he stands watch over all nine gates at the same time. He is little more than a giant floating mouth in appearance. When someone approaches one of the gates, the guardian poses them a question, one of the 999 riddles of Xanathrox. The guardian itself has no ears and can never hear the reply, and so can never tell the secret to anyone. But the enchantment of the gates means they will open in the correct reply. The riddles are said to be so taxing that only the greatest logical thinkers can discern their answer. The Guardian swallows whole those intruders that give the incorrect response. Legend tells that only one challenger, clad in the guise of a young girl with a black dog, managed to make her way through all the gates. When Zinch questioned him about his failures, the Guardian accused her of cheating. And those were 40 facts on the Sky Shark. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you guys use. It really helps out the channel when you do so, um, which is why we ask you every single day. Um, the Screamers of Zinch are, are an amazing demon. I think out of all the demons, um, the Screamers tend to really fit the sci-fi fantasy um, of 40k and not just the fantasy, because I feel that um, the fact that they're swimming through the air really does um, make you think of like, well, what, what, what would be the possibility for one of these creatures to swim through the currents of like something that we can't see? Um, it's something that makes you think like, sci like it makes you think of the physics behind a creature like this. Um, and you could explain that uh, through the currents of, of the warp or through gas. Uh, but then at the same time, it's still like fantasy just because, I mean, it's a screamer of Zinch. It's a sky shark. Um, a while back, I think it was on the Discovery Channel or on Animal Planet, I can't remember. Uh, there was a series where uh, they would speculate on what creatures would look like, what alien creatures would look like on different planets. Um, and one of them, I remember, uh, it was like a, a huge gelatinous looking octopus with like... Um, gas pockets that would actually float so it looked like it was like bobbing up and down like a jellyfish does in water uh, but it was doing that in like a, just a normal environment like the ground was was full of like um, your dirt your regular um, regular landscape it was just that these creatures looked like they were bobbing through water uh, and it was because of the gas that they had almost like bumblebees but like not with the wings um, and that, that whole idea of like swimming through um, currents of water, or sorry, currents of, um, of air uh, is just very grounded in like what seems to be just physics and how things could be treated in a uh, abnormal way, if that makes sense. Uh, so I really like the screamers and uh, definitely going to include them in uh, a demon army if I ever start a, a demon army. Um, Again, if you guys enjoy these videos, share them with your friends. Uh, we also have a Patreon. It's a simple dollar a month, and it helps us create more videos for you guys. If you can't support us on Patreon, we understand. Simply by liking, commenting, and sharing, it helps out the channel. And uh, thank you for everybody who, who's given us suggestions as to what other topics of 40k to cover. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, continue to uh, put your suggestion down in the comment section below. We'll try to get to it. Um, and, and thanks for everything, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. <laughs>